so much. I want to bring in Zach Nunn, an Iowa state senator running for a U.S. House seat. He's also an Air Force combat veteran. Great to have you. I want to talk about the race in a moment, but you know, we, we've been seeing some of these interviews that we've done with people across the country, and it's just a sampling. And some people do seem a little empathetic to people who have student loan debt, and yet they are bothered by the unfairness. What do you hear on the campaign trail? Danny, you're absolutely right. You know, I'm a military member. I paid for my college um, through working all the way through both high school to save up for school. And then when I went through, I paid for my master's program by serving in the military and multiple combat tours overseas. I've got a lot of great tradesmen, electricians, plumbers, carpenters here in my district. They feel like they're shouldering the burden for somebody else's choices. And the other part that's really hard, Dana, is that we've got a number of folks who did it the right way, who paid their way through, worked hard. We should be rewarding folks who take their own initiatives, not handing out to individuals who have taken on debt and then had no way to pay for it. And then what about the inflationary aspect of it? Do you hear that as well? Absolutely. In fact, it's the number one thing that we hear on the campaign trail, the cost of the economy. You know, I've got four kids, two fosters, and for us, mm -hmm. just going between football practice, dance practice, sleepovers, these things cost our family a lot. The highest rate of inflation across the country is on foodstuffs. The second most is on the cost of college tuition, and that's where this loan bailout program does nothing to solve the root cause of the problem runaway expenses at too many of our four-year institutions and the deprivation it takes away from our trade schools and our community colleges. Two foster children, um, congratulations on that and thank you for doing that. Let's talk about your race for a moment. The Fox Power rankings for Iowa 3, that's your district, is leans Republican and I was told this morning that y your race is considered one of the top pickup opportunities for Republicans there and you have an interesting group of supporters. In fact, you have all the GOP supporters. Let's put them up here. It's very rare to get all of these on the same ticket. Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Nikki Haley, Mike Pompeo, Tom Cotton, and Tim Scott of South Carolina. Uh, do you think that you'll have any of them come and campaign for you or maybe all of them? Well, Dana, they, they already have. We're very humbled. Obviously, being in Iowa, it's a place where people pay attention to every four years. In this case, it's the midterm election, and we're already identifying that the Iowa 3rd District, that's Des Moines down to the Missouri border, is going to be a crux on whether we win back a majority in Congress. We've got to beat a number of incumbents, and we've got a good track record of beating incumbents as a state senator when we passed the largest tax cut and our economy grew. That's the kind of thing we want to take to Washington, D.C. That's why we have these wonderful people wanting to spend mm -hmm. some time here in Iowa. Everybody from, you know, Nikki Haley, Mike Pompeo is coming here again soon. We just had Vice President Pence and got a great call from President Trump wishing us congratulations in our overwhelming primary victory. Can I ask you about one other issue, which is abortion? So during the campaign, yeah. you um, were asked in a debate, in your mind, should all abortions be illegal in this country? Hand up if you say yes. You raised your hand. And then yeah. recently you said, let me be clear, I am pro-life and believe that life begins at conception. I also believe we must be compassionate toward both women and unborn children. The issue of abortion, how yeah. will that play in what could be a close race? You know, I think we've been very clear on this in the past. We feel, as a foster father myself with my wife, that life begins at conception. We also recognize the health of the mother and the baby the entire way through. And that's why we voted consistently no late-term abortions here in Iowa. We have also made sure the health of the mother is taken into consideration on that. And that's something we feel very strongly about. Our opponent, however, Cindy Axney, has taken a vote to be very extreme, abortions up until day of birth, that's something done in North Korea and China, not here in America, and certainly, Dana, not in the heartland. This is an issue people feel very proud of, that we you know, are a community that comes together. We help mother before birth, during uh, pregnancy, and after mm -hmm. birth. And that's something that we're going to continue to support on. I've been proud to lead on that, and I stand firmly on that front. Zach Nunn, we will, I'm sure, see you again before the midterm election. In the meantime, get back to the campaign trail. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Dana. <laughs> well, electric car pioneer Elon Musk making some surprising comments.